Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video we're going to cover alerts. Alerts provide feedback messages to the user based on their actions. So they're a great way of let's say telling the user if they've done something wrong or if they've input some data and it's correct or it's valid for example. So on a user login system on Sonar Learning on our education platform when the user inputs incorrect login details we show an alert to say incorrect login details and if let's say they sign up and they've successfully signed up and we've sent in them an email to activate their account we let them know via an alert there's different types of alerts with different styling that suits something has gone wrong gives them some information or perhaps something's gone right and we're going to show you all of them to implement them they are really simple it's just put a div and the div tag has two classes first is alert second is alert dash the alert type and like I said we're gonna cover every single one of them the first one is alert success put the role as alert and then inside here you can simply put your message so I'm just gonna put do, 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 strong. I'm gonna put success, success. Then at the end, I'm just gonna put this is this is a alert. So if we just save this, go to our web browser, refresh, and there we go. We have our alert. Uh, should actually be this is an alert and to do, do all the different ones the format is essentially the same so let's just copy and paste them gonna change that to info change this to info change this to warning warning final one is danger so if we just put danger here refresh go to our web browser and there you, you go we have the four different alerts so when someone's gone right giving the user some information warning them and actually telling them don't do this or something has gone wrong also you may want to add a link inside of the alert that's more than possible and Bootstrap provides a class called alert dash link which just provides some extra styling so if we just show you that so I'm just going to copy this one I'm also going to put a break line here and I'm just going to put link and this entire thing is going to be enclosed into a link and you do it as normal so ahref equals Okay, I'm just going to close this amount so you can see the difference and then simply you put a class of alert link you don't have to use this this oh sorry I need to put in the class not the href you don't have to use this class it just really suits the alert that bootstrap provides so if you refresh there we go we have our link and it has some styling that matches the rest of the alert so that is alerts there's one last thing that you can also do with it and that is add a dismiss button so to do that it's really really simple it's gonna i want to get the info one so giving you some info about the dismissal just keep your alert as it is you can use any one of these for it but at the start you just put a button tag this button tag has a type of button class is close data dash this miss oopsie daisy this miss is alert Doo -doo -doo -doo. area dash label set this to close one thing I forgot you've also got to add an extra class a few extra classes actually and they are alert dash dismissible fade and in now inside the button itself 
let's do this band tag and this band tag is going to have area dash hidden equals to true and you just set this to ampersand times semicolon then finally add another span class this is the last one i promise and let's add a class of sr-only so this is just for screen readers so it's good practice to do stuff like this just for screen readers so save that refresh and there you go we have our alert but the difference is we've got an x right here and if we click that as you can see it fades away so that's a great way of providing an, an alert to the user because you might provide several alerts and the user can just dismiss them when they have dealt with it instead of it cluttering up your website if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk for slash questions.php there will be a link in the description to that website plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video so if you have any issues check that out and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day